the initial position, well, x initial, the final position. What if you have been moving in a very complicated way? What would you have to do to, well, measure the distance traveled? You would have to measure the length of this line, of this trajectory. There are different ways to do that. For example, if it's, in reality, a drawing on a paper, you could take a well, string, a line, then stretch, and uh, measure the length using the ruler, for example. Or, the, well, if it's a road and you're driving, you just look, and look at odometer. That's what distance is. But your displacement, of course, is just from here to here. That's your displacement. So <clears throat> the magnitude of displacement, we can see clearly, might be different from the distance traveled. And uh, to describe the displacement, we could use the angle. Normally, we use some Greek letter like alpha, beta, gamma. Every human being has two uh, halves of a brain. So one half is reading, another half is drawing. You walk four meters west. So there's an initial position, and uh, east-west, one, two, three, four. Now you're here. You're not jumping back. You make a turn, and you walk three meters south, one, two, three. That's your initial position. That's your final position. So please tell me, just anyone, distance traveled is equal to? Absolutely right. Three plus four. What about the displacement? You don't know yet because you don't see it yet. You have to finish your picture. You have to draw the displacement. You have to show it. And now, only now, when you look at this figure, it has a very specific shape. It looks like what? Like a right triangle. And what do we know about right triangles? Pythagorean theorem, where else? There's one word which answers this question. Everything. 